As the whistle blew, the kids quickly formed up a line, listening to the command of that piercing sound. With kids lined up, they faced an equal row of dodgeballs. Bright red dodgeballs, looming in a long, never-ending row. Dodgeball was a common game for this gym, and it was Philip's least favorite. From the painful pounce of the rubbery, red balls to the constant sweating and breathing it induced. It didn't help that Philip had been plagued with asthma since he was a small child, and dodgeball seemed to really take a toll on him. Philip was thankful, however, that today he didn't have to endure the pain of the dodgeball alone, for he had his new friend, Henry. Henry, unlike Philip, was not discouraged by the sight of dodgeballs. Nor was he happy. He was perfectly neutral, as he so often was. Henry was a quiet kid, in fact one could say he was silent. Philip had done all the talking in the friendship, and it was probably why he liked Henry so much. The only person who let Philip talk, and talk, and talk without so much as a grunt, Philip liked that. Helped him gain his confidence. As the game began, the kids were split into two teams. Philip and Henry were unsurprisingly put on the same team, which delighted Philip and brought no real reaction to Henry. On the opposing team, however, was Charles and his friends. Charles was a notorious bully, who had spent the last two years of middle school finding every way possible to torment Philip. It was his own twisted fun. Charles thought today would be a perfect day to teach Philip and that new kid Henry a lesson. Once the teams were decided, it was time to play. The whistle rang out and like soldiers climbing the trenches and charging into the field of battle, the kids ran. Within moments dodgeballs were flying like mortars through the air, soaring high up before finding its up and crashing down onto innocent victims. Kids were being pummeled left and right, like a massacre. The smacking sound of rubbery dodgeballs and squeaking shoes and cries of children in battle echoed through the gym. One by one the kids were struck and moved to the opposing team. Charles and friends were quickly gaining allies, while Philip and Henry were slowly being left to their own defenses. Philip tried as he might to throw as many dodgeballs as he could but to no avail. His asthma was catching up as he struggled to run around, dodge, throw balls, and run some more. Henry stayed still like a statue and yet not once could a single dodgeball penetrate his defense. He would catch a ball and hand it to Philip, constantly feeding ammo. His ability to quickly grab a ball mid-flight was unheard of, unnatural if an. With only a single arm, it would rise in the air in the blink of an eye. This great battle went on for some time and before long, Charles hatched a plan. Instead of throwing more dodgeballs, allowing Henry to catch them and feed it to Philip, he would simply hoard them. Stockpiling like a great dragon on a mountain of gold. Slowly the sound of dodgeballs flying and being caught came to a silence. It was now a silent standoff. Philip had one dodgeball remaining, not daring to lose his only shot. Who would strike first? Charles whispered something to his friend, a new plan. The final plan. With a wicked grin, Charles' friend launched a dodgeball straight at Henry. Philip, in a sudden moment of heroism, leapt in front of the dodgeball. A loud crack rang out as Philip took the full brunt of the dodgeball, which sent him crashing to the ground. His head smacked against the hard floor with a sickening clap. He laid motionless. The room was silent except for Charles' friend who let out a cackle that reverberated around the room. A taunting howl that even Charles himself couldn't enjoy. Everyone else remained silent, not daring to make a sound. Henry too was silent. But his silence was a deafening one. As if sound had been sucked out of the room itself. Henry didn't move as time came to a halt. His body, unnaturally still, as if he had never known movement in his whole life. After a lifetime of waiting, Henry finally began to stir. Slowly he turned around, his head first, then his body slithering to join it. His face was nothing. Not a sign of emotion. Not anger. Not sadness. Perfectly still just as his body had been moments before. All remained silent, 
all except Charles' friend who was still cackling at his sick display of violence. Everyone waited with bated breath to see how he would respond. Then it happened. Bang. In the blink of an eye, faster than a speeding bullet. Henry had thrown a dodge ball. No one had even seen him move. Suddenly the cackling stopped. There was no sound except the echoing bang of the impact and a sickening gurgling sound. Charles's friend, who moments before had been howling and laughing at his action, only to find him now silent, choking on his own blood, as the dodgeball had caved in half of his face, lodging itself deep within him. He stood only for a moment before finally collapsing, continuing to gurgle and drown in his blood, as his consciousness slowly faded. Henry remained still, once again emotionless. He picked up Philip and carried him out of the gym, as all stood there, horrified at what just took place.